Uh, he certainly has the confidence of an LA open lighter. That's certainly the case. On deck will be Peter Prince coming to the stage right now. Big round of applause for Julian! We need to mention that his last name is Disney. He doesn't get any of the fucking money, but he gets all the fame. Uh, our host is a generous, generous man. He's a fucking pretty, pretty nice guy. You know, uh, I'm gonna uh, do my set like I'm driving a car because it's written on a fucking <laughs> piece of fucking paper. You ever work with people that you fucking hate? I mean, like, truly hate. Like, ever go to work and be like, I hope y'all get fucking dick cancer and your cock falls off. <laughs> yeah, that didn't land. I guess uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody feels my sentiment. That's how much hate I have in my heart. Uh, definitely, I was talking to my sister the other day about my lifestyle and where, like, it's leading and how I want to have money and power and this and that. And I was like, you need to understand and she's, she's just a little, little fucking person. She's so small, it's like hilarious. I just make fun of her all the time. I'm like, go fucking try and make a little bit mad. Bitch, because she's fucking small. But, uh, <laughs> I need a hoe dashery. I'm, I'm, getting, I, I'm working on having a hoe dashery. You know what that is? That's like, like, a, like a hoe library. You know what I mean? Like, like a hoe dashery. You know, uh, Let's start over. Have you ever wanted to be somebody with confidence? You know, I woke up this morning and I looked at that uh, post from the corner in my bedroom and I said, you know what, King Cat, I go with you now. <laughs> oh, man. You ever think about, like, famous people? Uh, like, I think about famous people from time to time. Like, Usher, he has a ritual, like, before he goes on stage. And performs, he like separates like either Skittles or M Ms. I don't know if they are. And he just like separates them, you know, like color coordinating to different goals to like calm yourself down. And I just think to myself like, wow, who is the uh, dude who eats those M Ms? Because you know somebody's like back there backstage. Being, like, I can tell you that. And he's, you know, and, like, he's like eating and cutting up. Uh, so he's really into this joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is really dead air, and I feel horrible because people worked very hard to get here. I did, you know, to try to even tell some jokes. Let me uh, start over again. Oh, uh, what's a joke? What's a joke? I need to tell a joke right now. I got the microphone in my hand. Oh, uh, you ever like fisted a woman? Oh. <laughs> I have. And uh, you know what I said immediately afterwards? I said, that got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Am I allowed to say that? It really happened. <laughs> oh, God. Like, before I die a thousand times over, I really, really need to come up with a joke. I totally had some. Uh, the other day, people were fucking with me left and right, just like everywhere I went, just like totally just fucking with me, just like throwing me negative vibes, negative aura, you know what I mean? And uh, I just thought to myself, like, uh, clearly I'm doing something right because I got the light. Thank God, because, oh uh, man, I'm like tightening the noose around my neck. <laughs> Seven dollars, you got that? Uh, this is not a good set, it was not a good show. Um, yeah, I've really uh, dug, dug great for the next person who goes out. I hope you have fun with this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to you know, the masses and the people. Uh, let me uh, close with this. The other day I wanted a slice of pizza. I wanted to go to Costco and buy a slice of pizza. I couldn't afford the pizza, so I had to go to the gas station and 